everyone so it has been about a month since I did my last vlog video it was really a true vlog for me where I'm in my bedroom all by myself just doing my own random video about whatever I wanted for the day but um I have been taking a lot of breaks from this channel and I kind of wanted to use this video time to explain to you guys why and then my next couple of videos will be up just like normal but for today I kind of wanted to explain to you what I've been doing so most of you know that I was in New York for New York City Fashion Week and I didn't put up any videos over that time and I didn't put up any videos before that because I thought I was going to be uploading vlogs through that time. The hotel actually didn't have fast enough internet connection to allow us to upload a video like it wasn't an, even an option it would have taken like three days so I didn't get to do that so I hadn't uploaded for two weeks and then I've been back for I think about two weeks and the reason I didn't upload when I got back okay here we go. So YouTube takes a lot of my time and I feel like a lot of people don't understand how long I spend on YouTube pretty much every day. Um, days where I put videos up, my entire day consists of YouTube. Days where I don't put videos up, I'm still working on YouTube because I have all of my comments on common approval, which if you do YouTube videos that kind of get a lot of comments, you know that that takes forever because you have to individually approve them. So that's pretty much all I'm ever doing. I sit at the computer and approve comments because I want it to seem like the comments are going up live, you know, so that when people comment, they see it pop up. So I try to be there and approve them as they come in. But then I get a lot of either inappropriate ones or ones with uh, bad words. And I have a lot of young viewers that I don't want them exposed to that on my channel. And yes, I know it's the internet and they can see that anywhere they want. And that's fine. They can see it anywhere they want, but I'm not going to be posting it on my channel. You know, I don't like that. I don't curse at all, so I don't, you know, I don't know. But I don't want that on my channel. So I spend a lot of time approving comments. I also don't think you guys kind of realize um, that I get 5,000 emails and messages every single day. So that's combined with my JuicyStar07 at Yahoo.com, my JuicyStar07 um, inbox on YouTube, and my other JuicyStar07 inbox on YouTube. Altogether, I get about 5,000, and I try to respond to as many as I can, but obviously I can't respond to all of those. So if I haven't responded to yours, I promise I am coming. I'm, well, if it's been like a long time, I probably skipped over it, maybe um, because I had so many to do that day, and I just kind of skipped over it. Um, so if you haven't gotten a response to me and it's been over like two months, go ahead and re-email me your email. But otherwise, I'm getting to you. I promise I'm slowly climbing up the ladder. Ow! I just like slapped my hand and my ring like hit my other finger. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm taking this off. Oh, you guys were asking when we're getting our rings back on GlitzyGlam.com, and that will be soon, I promise. We're, like, restocking and getting everything ready. Yeah, so actually doing a video does take me a long time, and I kind of kid myself when I say that I want to do one every day, because if I did one every day, that'd be all I was ever doing, and I love making YouTube videos, so I try to make as many as I can, but I also think that you guys should realize that I have schoolwork, I'm homeschooled, and... I decided that I wasn't going to do a homeschooling vlog. When I first found out I was being homeschooled, I told you guys and I told everyone on Twitter and everyone asked if I could do a homeschooling vlog, basically a video talking all about my homeschooling routine and schedule and what I do, and I said yes, but then I got to thinking that that's like really personal, um, so I decided I wasn't going to do it, and I haven't done it, but today I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about my homeschooling. So in the state I live in, you have to have four hours of schooling a day. So I know you guys might be like, oh my gosh, that's so you know, stupid. I do six to eight hours a day wherever you go to school. Um, take out the time that you have for lunch, which is usually about 30 minutes. Take out any study period, free period, um, any extra classes. Like, um, I know I used to have to take a gym class. Um, take out any of that stuff because obviously I don't do that online. And take out the time it takes to walk you class to class. So I know that we usually got about seven minutes in an eight class day. We got seven minutes to walk around. So seven times eight is 56. So that's about an hour right there that you're just spending walking class to class. So I think four hours is a good amount that I have to do every day. Um, sometimes it's actually hard for me to get that done. You might be like, oh my gosh, but you used to go eight hours. I know, but there's something about being in your own room. Well, I do it in my room. Oh, I'm online schooled. Okay, lots of you don't know what my homeschooling program is. It's online virtual school. 
Um, so everything is over the computer. My mom does not teach me like they used to do um, homeschooling. I know lots of people are like, oh my gosh, you're homeschooled. That must take your mom so much time. And I'm like, no. <laughs> um, so it's all online. I have online teachers. I take online classes. I do about four hours a day. Sometimes I do more just because if I'm like in the middle of a session, just because the four hours are up doesn't mean that I don't want to like finish my exam for that day. So sometimes I do up to six hours. It kind of depends on what the day is. And then I have some reading classes where I have to read like books that I think are really boring. I don't know, just like old classical books that everyone has to read for school. Um, and that does not count against my four hours. So all of that reading is like homework for me. Um, and you don't get credit for that. You just have to take the exam and that's what you get credit for. So that kind of is like, great, I have to spend five hours a day trying to get through this boring book where I'm not even getting credit for that. So I'm doing a lot of homeschooling. Okay, I'm a junior, technically. If I was still in traditional regular high school, I would be a junior. I'm 16 years old, I turned 17, April Fool's Day. Yay, my birthday's coming up. Um, but I'm supposed to be a junior. So I was told I had two years to finish um, my online high school. So I planned it out, doing four hours a day, I was going to be able to get it through. Well, then I find out that I have to be graduated by May, this May. The reason is that Elle and I have some pretty fun stuff going on that um, we cannot wait to tell you guys about, but we can't tell you guys about it yet. Uh, but if all of that kind of works out and we get the green light, I need to be graduated by May. So then I find out I only have a year to graduate, and that year started last August. So you guys can see how I'm kind of stressing out. I'm doing so much work every day and you know if you're doing online high school or homeschooling it depends on what program you're using but my program does allow you to graduate early but you have to put in more hours a day which is kind of good because now the more hours I'm putting in like the days where I work five hours or six hours those are gonna get counted because it's my extra hours you know what I'm does this make any sense to you guys probably not anyway so yeah I now figured out that I have to do so much extra schoolwork, which is kind of taking a toll on me. I'm doing it on the weekends too. I'm trying to graduate as fast as I can. So with YouTube taking up all of my time and schoolwork taking up all of my time, how do I fit in a social life? Well, you know, I've kind of got to squeeze it in. So since I'm not in school anymore, I don't get to see all of my friends every weekday like I used to be able to. So I try to get together with them. I try to either go out to eat, go to a movie, maybe hang out at the mall. You know, I try to have some time. And if you follow me on Twitter, you know I'm always tweeting, like, going to Panera with Lauren. That's my best friend's name is Lauren. And Panera and Chili's are our two favorite restaurants. Um, but anyways, I think you guys can get the picture that Doing my YouTube videos does take me a long time. I know that I don't use green screen. I don't use special effects that you think would take an extra 100 hours to upload and, you know, edit and all that stuff, which I'm sure it does. So I don't know how those people like Shane Dawson, I, I can't even fathom doing that every single week because he puts out a video every Saturday. I can't even fathom that. So on top of all of that that I'm doing and all of that that's making me busy, I also work for Glitzy Glam, which is my online web store, glitzy-glam.com, that I own with my sister, and that takes up a lot of my time. I've been working out three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I go to the gym, and then on Tuesday and Thursday, I just do 30 minutes of the elliptical, which we have an elliptical here at my house, so I don't have to go anywhere for that, which, which is like good, but that takes more of my time out of the day. I am a total TV junkie. In my spare time, I love to watch reality TV. That's my favorite. Um, and then other shows that I like are scripted shows like Vampire Diaries and Gossip Girl and One Tree Hill. I like those too. But my favorite are definitely like Keeping Up with the Kardashians and The Hills. When does The Hills come back on? Is it back on or did it like end? I don't know. I think that they should just give Spencer and Heidi their own reality show. I don't know. Lots of you I know don't like Spidey because I think I mentioned them in a video and someone was like, oh my gosh, you're a Spidey supporter. No, I'm not. I just think they're really, really funny. I, I would love 30 minutes of just watching them. I'm a total reality junkie. So when I do have spare time, I love to watch TV. I'm a total TV freak. Um, movies, not so much because they take longer. Most TV shows are like 30 minutes or an hour, whereas a movie can be like two hours. And I don't have two hours to spend watching a movie when I'm trying to, you know, do as much YouTube as possible. But I kind of feel bad because every time I sit down and I, it's like I don't get to relax. Right now my stress level is through the roof. Because times where it is good for me to relax and I'm like, oh my gosh, I get to relax right now. I'm like, no, I should be approving comments. No, I should be answering emails. No, I should be doing this. 
Whereas I just, I need to let myself know that it is okay to just sit down for 30 minutes and not worry about YouTube world. But I'm like addicted. All I want to do is talk to you guys, which I know is really crazy. And all I want to do is make videos. And I keep thinking of more videos that I'm adding to my pile of upcoming videos. But I mean, it's all good. Oh, and on top of that, I think I'm passing a kidney stone, except I woke up this morning and it didn't hurt as bad as it used to. I actually was going to put up videos over this weekend, but I was passing a kidney stone. I think, I don't know, something was definitely wrong with my insides, but I woke up this morning and it felt better. Not completely okay, but I can, it's bearable, like I'm not crying 24-7, um, but I'm not sure if that's what it was. I don't know, it was really scary though. Um, so I tweeted and a lot of people were like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry because I tweeted I'm passing a kidney stone. Um, I don't know if that's what it was, but I have like these moments where I feel okay and then it comes on like a lightning bolt strikes me and I like double over and it hurts really bad. Something's wrong with me, but I'm also a total hypochondriac. But yeah, I know you guys are like, you took so much time off from doing videos, but I want you to understand that the only time I really took off was this weekend because the other times I wasn't putting up videos, I was in New York, I was filming stuff for videos, I was working, you know, I do have to say this weekend I got to relax and it was really good. But I do have to say that I did get caught up on all of my reality TV shows and I got to read books, which I love. I know I just talked about how I don't like reading. I don't like reading school books that are boring. I like reading good books. So I actually read Miles to Go by Miley Cyrus. If you haven't read that book, I don't know if you're a Miley Cyrus fan or not. I am. I like her. You know, I don't have anything against her. She never did anything to me. So, you know, I'm fine. Um, I read her book and it was actually really good. I was surprised by how much I kind of liked it. Okay, so I think you guys understand that I am busy, but that I do love you. And I want to thank you guys so much for supporting me. And new vlogs and videos are going to be coming your way soon because I'm trying my hardest to keep putting them out there. But if I am slacking just a little bit, I'm working really, really hard on my schoolwork. And I really want to get finished because if... I, if I do graduate by May, that means that something else is happening and that something else that's happening will involve you guys. And I can't wait to tell you guys about it, but I can't tell you about it yet because I don't know if it's for sure yet, but I need to go ahead and be graduating in case it is for sure. Do you get what I'm saying? Ugh, I don't know. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Did you catch that? I waved it this way, not like this, but I still like this way better. Comment below and let me know which wave you like better. One or two. Bye guys. Say hi. Hi. Is my voice like really, really deep right now? I feel like it's super deep. I don't know. I think I lost my voice. Uh, yep, it's gone. Ah, great. It's also snowing outside. I don't really like the snow right now. It's kind of making me mad. But the hotel didn't have fast enough internet connection. It would have taken like me like I sound like a toad. Ribbit, ribbit. Wait, do toads ribbit? No, those are frogs. I sound like a frog. Ribbit, ribbit. What do toads do? Croak. Croak, 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 croak. Howdy, y'all. So, so I, so I never, so that's all I'm pretty much ever doing. I just have to sit at the, yeah. Oh, and do you guys realize that I've been wearing dangly earrings in my la in my latest videos? That is because I can. It's so great because now my ears are pierced like the same so that they hang the same length. Whereas it used to be they hung like that. That makes no sense. Um. Oh, and I think I'm passing a kidney stone.